folks, Johnson here. Okay, so I've got the boom loaded up on the rollback. I brought it up here to the shop. I moved my boiler so I could get back here where I need to get. And getting ready to start cutting on this thing. Uh, somebody had done a lot of plating, reinforcing. My intentions are the rating on this crane is 14,500 pounds at 10 foot radius. And I'm gonna be picking up close to that. So we wanna make it back like it would have been, you know, uh, stock at least. If you build it heavier with heavier steel, then you're gonna lose some of your capacity. And and of course, if you build it with smaller steel, you're gonna, uh, <laughs> it's gonna break easier. Let's put it that way. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these ends off this end, figure out where we're gonna cut it at because I'm replacing all these also. You can see that it's been overlapped and welded on. And what it is, is it, people have bent them over the years. I don't know whether they hooked to them or what they've done. This, they just didn't treat this thing very nice at all. And uh, it's bent up here. We're gonna have to redo some of the, there's a piece on the outside that looks like it's factory. It may or may not be, but we're gonna have to redo some of that. Uh, everything up here don't look too bad. There's a pulley that's gonna need some work. Yeah, there's definitely a one pulley here, which is, that one's packed with dirt. This one here, I mean, it would probably be all right, but we will straighten up on it some and do a little bit of work on it to try to make it a little nicer. That way we won't have to worry so much about it. This needs to be straightened. Everything about it's just been up. I mean, it looks like they used this daggone thing to, <laughs> it's a hammer. So, uh, you can see that cable. I don't know if it's this sheave's a lot lower than this sheave. If you can see the cable was eaten into here, and that's not good. You don't want that. Uh, so we got to figure out what was going on there. So uh, hopefully we can knock this pin out of there. Get these pulleys off. These are uh, these take place of the pennant, which the pennant would have been farther back on the boom. So a 35 foot boom, which is what this is total, with a uh, Without a pin, it takes 177 feet of half-inch cable to uh, to operate the hoist. I mean, that's what you got to have, and it's four-part line, so you know, 35 foot, four parts, that'd be 140. So 177 with wraps on the drum. That's probably, you know, it sounds right. Yeah, there's some numbers on it here. So uh, yeah, the boom's twisted. Nothing about this thing is very good or straight so we're gonna go ahead and get the cutting this bend right here there's a lot of it but you can see that was there before they fixed it so I don't know why they went about things the way they went about them but I don't know but we're gonna cut like I said the whole center out I've got a angle iron cutter that I picked up that's that 144 pound piece that uh, a lot of people didn't know what it was it's made to shear three by three by quarter angle and the biggest thing we're working with is two by two by quarter so it should shear all of our angle right you know easy so we won't have to fight it much so all right i think i'm just gonna go ahead and cut what i need off this thing and and take the rest somewhere out of sight out of mind all right folks we got the, the bottom off here and i think we're good to go i am gonna clean it up i'm gonna overlap it all the way down so that's about a foot and a half overlap on each piece now that won't be enough weight to make a difference so now i'm going to decide where to cut this one okay folks i've got the the end of it off too and i have leveled this out uh actually the end of here on both sides to the bed of my truck using the jack here and as you can see we're not level back here. So we're about an inch off. Same way with here, our holes, where our, I think our pennant would have went. It might have been for the pennant, I'm not sure, but uh, they're about an inch off. So what it is, is this thing is twisted, but it's twisted because uh, everything that's there. So the plan is, what I'm gonna have to do, and it's pretty easy to see, I'm just gonna cut everything out of the center of it here and 
we're going to unbolt this stuff and I'm going to put new bolts and stuff in it anyway. We're going to work on that pulley. I wish I could replace that. That's a big pulley. I don't know what it would take. I don't have any that big, I know, and uh, I'm not sure money-wise what it would take to replace it, but I might check into it. But that's a pretty big sheave, I guess, what you want to call it. This is supposed to bolt to the center. Uh, this is a guard to keep the cable from getting in between. And how it's bolted here, I don't know. We got cable wire here, but then we got this bolted here. So I, I'm lost with that of what they had set up there. And there's a little bit of cable wire here and a little bit up here and barely any here. So I don't know. Weird setup. But, you know, we're going to get it straightened out. And somebody's welded this one on. And they didn't care a whole lot about this thing when they when they done it. I don't think it was quality work to begin with. Uh, so that's the plan to get this cut apart so we can get it straight because, like I said, it's... The front of it is this way, and the back of it is this way. So if we raise this side up, it's going to lower the front. Well, if we raise this side up, it's going to lower the front right down and put it back where it needs to be. So we definitely want it straight. We want it as perfect as we can get it. Uh, I'm going to have to cut 18-foot pieces to go between here. Uh, you know, I could do the full 20, I guess, if I wanted, but I'm just going to go back stock because... I know what the rating is at, four, you know, 14,500 pounds at stock height, you know, how the, the distance from the machine and everything. So if you start changing it, then you're going to change the ratings. And I want to be able to trust what I, you know, the ratings I know on it. And I had a crane, a truck crane one time I got rid of because I didn't have the ratings for it. And you couldn't read them on the aluminum panel that was there. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And it was an RO crane. I probably could have, you know, looked hard and found them. But I, 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 if you watch YouTube, you see a lot of cranes flip over. And it's not just from people doing stupid stuff. It's from people just misjudging what they're doing. And, you know, something snaps or something happens. And they just have issues. And I don't want to be the one that flips a crane over. And, you know, ratings are there for a reason. They've done a, a fine job when they build them. And if you're in the record business, you uh, you learn them ratings pretty quick because you got to know what you can do with your record and what you can't because you can break something really quick if you don't do it right. Okay, folks, here's our uh, angle iron cutter. Got to make a handle for it. Uh, looks like I need some half inch plate and a piece. And they said the handles on these was about five foot. Now this is the big one. Like I said, three by three by quarter is what it'll cut. And it's actually been sitting, so it's stuck. We're gonna put some oil on it and get her freed up but uh good shape uh i was lucky enough to buy this thing i gave 50 dollars for it and I, the only one i seen for sale that was this particular size was uh, 900 dollars so uh for a used one so i'm sure you know different prices but anyway it looks like when you pull down on it this comes up and cuts so maybe we can get by without having to mount it down to the concrete, but if we do, I've got some anchor bolts. We can anchor it temporary. So, all right, let's get a handle made for it. Okay, so it's freed up good. It really wasn't stuck. Uh, put a little oil on it. Uh, seems to be working good. I got me a bar for it, and that'll fit in it. But the problem is I can't hold it. And I've even put the rollback bed on top of it, but it just tried to pull out or, you know, pick up on the back of the bed. So, I'm going to bolt it down to the old uh, piece of uh, boom that we cut off. And I'll show you what it looks like there, just as a temporary hold down so it can't move until we uh, at least get done what we need to get done. All right? Okay, folks, I think this will be enough if I throw a couple bolts in it here to be able to hold it. And... Let's see how it shears. So, let me mark and burn a couple of holes and throw a couple of bolts in, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can shear some steel. Okay, folks, let's test a piece of. Uh, oh, this is an inch and a half by inch and a half, and I don't know how thick. I'm sorry, inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter, and it is 
three sixteenths. So let's see what we'll do with it. Here we go. Boy, it's a nice cut too. Straight as an arrow and no problems. I'm sure uh, we can handle it. Uh, the two by two by quarter should shear no problem. I can load the steel on the rollback and slide it right off in through this thing and cut it to length and knock them out really quick. So we're gonna have a lot of the uh, one inch by three sixteenths to cut, which it'll, it'll do it like butter. And uh, we just got a few cuts to do on the uh, two by two. So anyways, that'll work. We'll leave it set on the spoon for, for now, and uh, that'll be a good place for it. And then we'll have the boom here so we can get their measurements for our other pieces, what angle they are anyway. All right, folks, uh, I think that's gonna work out fine. And unfortunately, I gotta stop for the day. I got some stuff I gotta, other stuff I got to work on that is more important right now so uh, we'll be back on this I'll go ahead and start getting things cut and we'll start getting things together and a uh, couple things uh, one more thing I, I wanted to tell everybody that something that I didn't let everybody know you know I spent a lot of time in that swamp working on that machine but uh, you believe it or not from the time we started driving that thing out until we got it out it actually took us eight hours and that was with you know the trees we had to move and cut and uh, you know dragging it around and that's working straight because we don't stop for lunch or anything like that so uh, very very rarely stop for breaks or anything so uh, but that was eight hours from the time we got from the back and uh, it was it was a good ways I never measured it out but uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a short trip at all so Anyway, wanted to just wanted to tell you that because I know a lot of people probably think that just jumped on it. You know, it was 30 minutes of well, it wasn't even 30 minutes of video, but just a short video. But yeah, it was it was an eight hour eight hour trip from the back to the front with that thing. So uh, anyway, we're uh, we're gonna keep making it nice, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this boom finished up, and I'll just continue to show you as I go. But uh, we've got our cutter working here, so. I think it's going to be a little bit of a time saver when it comes to cutting all these short pieces. But, uh, all right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.